St. James's Park. The half century is up for England under Serena Beekman, but this is the first time facing France during her tenure. It's been too long to complete the set of facing the world's best. And a look at the two lineups. Millie Bright is back for England and straight back in the starting lineup, re establishing England's strongest centre back pairing for the first time in over a year. Lucy Bronze moves ahead of Steph Horton on the all time caps list with England appearance number 122, 50th cap for Mary Earps. Well, away we go, the first of a France doubleheader. And the first time seeing this England on a Serena Beekman. The first tweak for Mary Earps was in the first minute. Yeah, something in her hip or a groin, I think. You just grimace slightly as she just passed that across her body. Yeah. Tota perhaps, Carter cuts that ball out. De Almeida penalised. Maybe there might be an element of France. The run from Hemp down that left hand side by giving that ball. And then it. Just... Look how calm she is in front of goal, Beth Mead. Second chance, lucky break there for France. Cascarino, Toto stretching for it. That was a chance for the forward. Yeah, I mean, you know, France have got that much pace. That is. I mean, if that comes from a forward, you know, we've been talking about it for days from a defender. What a terrific finish, and she's reaching. The fourth official is down away, they'll get it back. And the ball across, goalkeeper couldn't hold. And no England player there to tuck it away. Five minutes to play, and England through Carter. Yeah, that's a good play from Lucy Bronze. Driving forward. And stops the ball and moves inside, and it's about stopping it. Hero Mannion did so well. England, Mead whips it in towards Bryce. Miss Bronze, what a chance on the back post for Russo. And she got it wrong. Yeah, she knew she'd have to get some sort of spin on this. Russo as it lands, it's a, a difficult skill. It's quite high, it jumps quite high, the ball. Half time. A lot happened in that first half. But principally, Beth Mead gave England the lead on the half hour Time mark. But France struck back in spectacular England style. England Penalty as soon as she gets you in the area, you've got a problem. She didn't have the finish. Diani using Dali with the overlap. Excellent for an interception, actually, from Bronze. Yeah, not enough of that from a French point of view. Dali to push it back in again over the turn. The net. To be I think it was Russo. Just gets it to the edge of the area, but France are there. Gets it, get it back in, and it's a good finish. His head digs out the cross towards Mead. And he's asking a lot. Yeah, he just needed to be a bit closer. It's difficult to get the power from that. Tune again. Kelly. Bronze promising. Couldn't pick the right pass, and then France almost got a mix up there. And Lacroix with the intervention may have hurt herself in the process. Final score England one, France two. Yeah, really disappointed because I think the game was there to be won. And yeah, it was a fantastic occasion. Obviously, they never let us down, the fans, so shame not to be able to at least give them a win as well. From your perspective, where did you fall short this evening? Two set pieces. Oh. Yeah, second balls. Um, because I think we were we played we played well, not good enough because we didn't win the game. But I think the like I say, the chances were there to be to win it. Uh, but the set pieces, yeah, two set pieces have killed us. We spoke to your manager. She said frustration seems to be similar for yourself. What what was not quite happening, or was it communication wise for the set pieces? No, I just think um, obviously there's an element of luck to those things, but for us that's uh, first contact, second contact, so we just need to be better. We will be better.